I'm Laura, and I want to welcome you to Adventures in Creating, where I take you on an, an adventure to create something hopefully awesome. Today, I am going to be showing you how to make these fabulous Halloween decorations. Mini brooms, so cute. These are great. They have a lot of uses for the season of Halloween and all of fall and October. These are also a really great craft because they are very quick and very easy. I think making this in completion, maybe five minutes, maybe 10, something. I'm a little fuzzy on the times, but it's very fast, very quick. And there's a lot of options to customize this, to make it how you want, whether you're going to go a little bit over the top and use glitter, <laughs> or whether you want to even do something like repurpose a pencil, give it a double purpose. These are great and very inexpensive. I think in total to make this broom was maybe $7 because that included buying the bale of hay. These are inexpensive, easy, and fun, and they look great. So join me as we go on my adventure. To get started making our wonderful <laughs> decorations, we are going to need a few supplies. The great thing about this project is that most of the supplies are customizable to what you prefer. You will need some straw or hay, or if you happen to have another dried type of grass around or easily available, use that instead. You could even use cut up paper strips if you don't have any dried grass type products around. Of course, I do think that dried hay looks the best, but I will not stand in the way of creativity. If you've got something else, use that. You will also need some sort of stick. I actually have a few twigs here because I like how they look with the hay. To me, that gives it a more Halloween feel, if you will, a kind of a more, I hesitate to use the word realistic, but you know what I mean, something that's going to look more appropriate for the season. So I just used some twigs off of a branch that had fallen off of a tree. You could, of course, use popsicle sticks if you happen to have those around. You could use wooden dowels picked up from your local hardware store. Or if you wanted to make something like party favors or a great uh, Halloween, just fun, pencil for your child to use at school, you could use pencils and make the bristle end around the eraser part. Then they're going to feel really special using this. Or you could get fancy and do it around the tip and make sure there's enough room for the child to still write. <laughs> you will also need some sort of glue. I'm going to be using hot glue. You could use a uh, regular standard glue such as Elmer's or Tacky or Mod Podge instead if you prefer. That does take longer to dry, but definitely an option. You will need some sort of scissor or cutting implement. For the most part, I will just be using regular ordinary scissors. You will also need some sort of string. You could just use kitchen twine if you happen to have that on hand. You could use yarn. I am using, this is a thinner cord. It's a micro fiber string. This is just what I happen to have that I thought looked good. Some other optional items you could use are, you could of course use paint. I'll show you a little bit later. I made a metallic looking broom that's a little funky, but you could always use paint if you wanted to make your broomstick look a particular way, whether painting the hay or painting the stick rod itself. Then obviously if you're going to use paint, you would need paintbrushes and newspaper or something to protect your surfaces for that. These are going to be the ingredients that we need. The ones that we need, hay, stick, string, scissors, and glue. Everything else is optional, but let your creativity roam wild. Now that we've seen our ingredients, we are going to move ahead with our project. I like this because it is very simple it's also a great way to make just potentially inexpensive decorations and lots of them for just for fun to have around and give your home a unique look. And there's so much you could do with these. So I'm going to start by taking my stick. 
And I'm going to then also take some of my hay and I'm just laying it on to get a feel for how much hay I will need. Right now, I'm not attaching it with anything more than just my fingers, just holding it, kind of seeing what we have there. And there's a good amount of hay. So what I'm going to do is putting my hay out, taking my hot glue gun, making sure it is turned on. Mine is nice, it has a red light showing, shining on it, so I know if it's hot. <laughs> and I'm just going to squeeze some hay out, or not hay out, oh my! We're gonna squeeze out some glue right onto my stick here, just going around the whole base of it. And you can see I did give it a little bit of a length, maybe about an inch, inch and a half up. I'm going to take some of my hay and just smush that on. Please be careful here. I did this earlier and I ended up burning my fingers a little bit because I was not careful in how I smushed my hay on. But just smush it right onto your stick. Give it a moment to dry and set once it's on there. And it's okay if it looks a little crazy right now. We will fix this as we go. So there's a little bit on. We, But this is not as thick as I want for my broomstick. So. I'm going to repeat exactly what I did. A little bit of glue going around all the hay now, the same area space. And I'm going to carefully smush some more of the hay on. This is not an exact science. This is just kind of fun putting it on, making it look nice, making it look Halloween-y, great for the season. And it's also making, because I'm making it small, it's kind of a cute little broom. So we have a good chunk of hay up here, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to pull off the pieces that are really sort of sliding off because it's, it's working with an item that sort of scatters about. It's kind of like with glitter, it's easy to dust a lot of that off. So now I have a good chunk here. To me, this looks like a pretty full broom. I don't feel as though I need to put a whole lot more on here. So what I'm going to do, scoop away some of the excess hay, and I'm going to take my string. String, yay! <laughs> How much do you wanna use? Well, you could measure it around your broomstick here, but I'm letting my glue set just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take two fingers and just wrap the string around several times. I'm probably going to wrap it around about hmm, five or six times. After I have done that, take my scissors, and give it a little snip. Now I will take my string. I'm going to be wrapping this around my broomstick. Now that I am sure my hay is in place and dry. I will want some glue to hold this steady, but I don't want to go crazy on that. So I am going to do, and figure out a good spot of where I want my <laughs> string to be. I'm going to put a, a little bead of glue on that side and the opposite side. I'm doing it on opposite sides because it will help hold the string without being a big glob of glue. And I will put some down. And then when I'm wrapping this, I'm not starting at the very end. I'm going to leave a little bit of the tail exposed. Now when I wrap this, I am going to tug on my strings. I want this to be a little tighter. And after I've wrapped this around one or two times, I'm gonna add another bead of glue. And this is just to help secure what I've put and to help continue to secure as I go. Apologize, I jumped right out of the frame there. So, and I'm just going to wrap this around. Wrap and wrap. <laughs> and these are also great little items if you wanted to do something fun, like make a Halloween wreath or add some tassels to say your curtains or if you put up any other sorts of decorations these are great to put around your door or even instead of using flowers if you like to have fresh cut flowers in your home make a whole bunch of these little broomsticks and put them in the vase instead and tie it with the vase with a black ribbon you have a fabulous centerpiece for the fall or halloween themes so now that it has been my broom has been wrapped as much as i want i'm going to just do a simple overhand knot and just tie that tight. If you do not know what a simple overhand knot looks like, which I guess it's technically a square knot, but very simply, I will take my two ends of string, 
put them one over top of the other so you sort of have these bunny ears. And then the string that is on top, I am going to let it fall and go into the hole and just pull it tight. And you can see we have a knot. And I apologize, it probably will not go into focus on my camera, but that is what I'm doing here. So now I have that, I did a, just a single knot there. I'm gonna put just a little bead of glue right on top of the knot. And again, be careful not to singe your fingers. I am going to do another one. So just putting my two strings over, I have my bunny ears, tuck the top string under and through the hole and tie it night right on top there. And I'm going to then have my strings touch the glue and go down. Now you could of course tuck, try and tuck these under into the string to give it a more finished look. No shame in that. That's a great way to give this the best polished look possible. For my purposes, I'm going to plan that I won't be looking at the back much, but if you do, it's okay to see the strings hanging down. A way to control where they flow is just use your glue. So I'm going to put just a little bead of glue here and I'm going to let my tails hang right there. Another way that you can cover these up is if you take some of this hay, which you will have a plenty of it, and just put it right on top, it disguises the strings a little bit. So you can't see them. That hay, of course, is not tucked in at the center the same way, but that's okay. For our purposes, it just disguises what we have. Now we have our broom. It looks pretty good, but we are going to make it look a little bit nicer. Now that I moved my hay a little bit out of the way, my glue gun out of the way, everything just so I have a little bit better space, I'm going to look at my broom and see how I can clean it up a little bit. Here we're taking our scissors and I'm just gonna snip some of this excess. A little bit of the hay hanging above the cord is perfectly fine. That to me makes it look better. But when it's all the way up here, it's way, way too much. So then I'm just going to trim down a little bit and I'm not going to make this a straight line because I think it looks better when it's uneven. It looks more messy, more like some witch was hurrying to make this in her fluster and excitement for the holiday. <laughs> And same thing at the bottom. While this does not look bad, especially if you were maybe hanging on a plaque, making it a little broom to go play Quidditch with, you, I'm going to trim off the edges a little bit, just so it's a little bit more controlled. Wild is good, but too wild just looks messy. And don't go too crazy. Just trim off some of it so it can look a little bit better. And I like how that looks. So for me, my broom, it's ready to go. As I, However, this was just our first of our brooms. I'm going to show you how to make the same exact broom, but we're going to do this with a pencil because I think it's fun. It gives our children a little excitement to know that they can write with a mystical broom for the holiday. Now we've, I've set my other broom to the side and I have a pencil. Of course, it is a number two pencil. Always need that for your test, right? Right. So now I'm going to take my pencil and very similar to how we did the previous broom, I'm going to just hold on some hay near the eraser end. I'm doing that so that there is still plenty of space for whomever to write with that, whether your child, whether your teacher. And I have some more sticks hopping around here. Oh, it's easy to get a little crazy around my place. Things are just everywhere, which lends to creativity, not necessarily to neatness. And I'm just gonna hold these on so I can get a feel for that. And I'll scrape them all off, taking my hot glue gun. Similar technique. Going to put some glue on the end of this pencil and I'm just going to go around. I'm trying to get all the sides of it so that I know my hay will stick to all the sides of it. So you can see I put glue up again, maybe an inch and a half or so. And gently and carefully, again, trying to avoid burnt fingers and or singed bits, I am going to try and press my hay right onto the glue, right onto the pencil. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We are just trying to get this a good coverage so this can look like it's a nice, fancy, magical broom, which that's what we want. It'll be fun and exciting. Now for me, I'm going to add some more. I'm shaking off the bits that are not sticking very well. And taking my glue gun, just going in, adding some more hot glue in some of these sections. 
so that I can add more hay to this because I want this to be covered so you can't tell that the end is poking out pretty much. And taking out, for me, I'm looking for as many of the nicer, bigger pieces as I can because the little pieces, while they are great for adding bulk and heft, they don't make it look as full as, well, they can help to make it look fuller, but they don't make, give the nice long bristles that we're looking for in a broom if you were going to be sweeping away anything, whether misfortune or the floor, either works. <laughs> So here we go, we've got that a little bit better and I am now looking, I see my eraser poking out, I don't like that. I'm going to put some glue right at this spot and I'm looking for a few longer pieces, pressing them in right there. And again, just be careful with your fingers. It's so easy to get a little bit of a sting. Fortunately, if you have a dual setting on your glue gun, you can turn the heat down to low so you're less likely to burn yourself, which is always a nice thing. That's something I like about my glue gun because I do get glue on my fingers actually quite a bit. All right, to me, this looks pretty nice and full, shaking it, shaking free any of the bits that aren't sticking nice. Oh, see a spot here. I wanna cover that. I'm going to put some glue right here and I'm gonna take this nice longer piece. So, ow, see, I got it right on my fingers there and press that right on in. There we go. I think my broom looks pretty good. I'm gonna slide my hay out of the way. <laughs> Try to keep myself a little organized. Slide my glue gun, glue gun a little bit, and I'm gonna take my string. Similarly to how we did with the other, I'm going to measure out my string. I'm gonna set my pencil, my little broom there, and just taking two fingers, I'm just going to wrap the string around myself four, five, six, seven times, a few times, so you can have a little bit of string to go with. And I'm gonna give it a quick snip, setting my string to the side, Ta-da! And I will take my pencil, same exact thing as we did before. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put my little bead of glue on one side and also on the other side, just to help stabilize the string as I wrap it on. And I put that in, put that in, put, the, put my string on, and I will wrap the string. I am gonna pull it snug as best as I can and try to wrap it, staying pretty close. Reason I'm pulling this snug is it's going to make my bristles sort of burst out, burst out a little bit more at the end, and that gives it a more exciting, more vibrant, look almost like there's life in the broom, which of course we know our brooms are just inanimate objects, but it makes it fun. If you're going to do something that's sort of Halloween themed, why not give it a little more oomph? You know, it's one of those fun holidays where you get to just play and be a little silly, a little crazy, and explore the fun imaginary world. All right, so I have wrapped that around a few times. And I'm actually gonna bring this other end to meet it. So similar as I did before, I'm going to put just a bead of glue right underneath my knot. I apologize, you can't see that super well, but ouch, I can feel it. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we have that to help hold our knot in place. Do our simple knot just over our top. And I'm going to tie it again, the knot just to give that a little bit more security, less likely to fall off and fall apart. Other benefit of this, as I have mentioned, this is a very inexpensive craft. It's also something you could do with your children if they are a little bit better in their hand-eye coordination, their fine motor skills, they could easily help. They could help lay out the hay, they could bring you their pencils, they could even help if you wanted your hay to be different colors, you could put the hay in a bowl with a few drops of paint, whatever color you like, whether it is going to be metallic brown or whether it's gonna be hot pink. And then stir the paint and the straw along with a paintbrush. That way it's pretty easy to clean up and you get an interesting coverage. All right, so I have this tied up. Similarly, I'm going to put another bead of glue down here and 
have my string stick right into that glue, trying to guide it without burning my fingers. And while that's still wet, I'm gonna try and work quickly and put another piece of straw to just cover that a little bit, make it look a little bit neater. All right, so we have this fun pencil. Again, I'm going to snip off some of the ends above the binding, above the string, because it's just a little too crazy for me. And even though I like crazy, again, I'm not making these all perfectly even. So we're gonna just keep trimming till this is the amount that I've trimmed and shaped that we like. And it's one, if you do not like how this is looking, feel free to take this all apart and start again, or add more hay, or add more of your strings. You know, you could do all sorts of things. Now your pencil, it is ready to go. You have a very fun little broomstick pencil. Perfect for Halloween, perfect for a party, whether you're having one at school or at home, although make sure you are, of course, practicing proper social distancing <laughs> as best as you can. <laughs> Uh, have fun with this. Set your decorations. No reason not to have fun at this time of year. Here is this. There's also other ideas I can show you. I am not going to make it here, but I will show you a different one. Here you can see this is another broomstick I made. It looks a little funny <laughs> because this was the first one I was making, but I used a popsicle stick on this one and I used my glue gun to help shape it a little. I coated it in glitter and then the straw, you can see I painted it. How I painted this was I put it in a bowl with some paint and stirred it around with a paintbrush. This was able to save me a lot of time and headache and glued it all together doing the same exact thing that I have shown you so far. Did you have fun making your own broomstick? I know I did. It was a good time. Like I said, so much room for creativity and using your own wonderful imagination to make your brooms fabulous. I hope you have fun making them and that you share this adventure with your friends, family, whoever you like to create with. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can be notified about more videos of mine when they come out. The whole month of October, I will be doing Halloween themed recipes and crafts. Be sure to stay tuned for the recipe next week. It is amazing, trust me. So, see me again next week, same time, same place. I hope you have fun with your brooms. I know I will. I think I'm gonna go and play some Quidditch. Thanks for watching, bye.